Yes, I finally have superpowers in Minecraft. Oh god damn it! Hi guys, my name is Lewis, and welcome back to another mod review on a Monday, or Tuesday, or whatever day it'll be uploaded. I'm sorry, it's meant to be Mondays, but yeah, I'm only recording it on a Monday, and uh, I'm a new. So, today I'm bringing you the camping mod. Now, this is a mod that I also use in my modded Let's Play. Uh, yeah, I think I'll let you. Um, yeah, no, no, sorry, I, I'm really bad. I can't even talk. I'm just gonna do this. Oh god, I think that lightning just struck behind me. So, what we're gonna do? We're gonna do crafting recipes first and statistics. Oh my, what? Lewis, you you're giving. You're actually telling us statistics and. Crafting recipes? What is this sorcery? Yeah, yeah. I decided that I'm actually going to tell you them today because there's not that many. So I can. I've looked up all statistics, most of them anyway. So hopefully you just enjoy. So we're going to do that first, then I'm going to show you off the items, then I'm going to show you mob. It adds, and then I'm going to show you the final thing which I can't explain. So, yeah, let's just get on with it, I guess. Um, first, here we have the campers tool. This is the first item that you'll want to make in the get as soon as you come in. Uh, it has 100 points of durability, it can rotate tents, which you'll see later, and it breaks the campfires without. Um, breaking it into little pieces which you'll also see later so if we just take a look at the crafting recipe here you'll see three iron down the middle and rose red dye either side in a vertical line we'll give you the campus tool right here so if we just take that for now because we'll need it later sorry about that guys uh, Next we have the Campus Tool version 2. It does exactly the same as the normal Campus Tool here, but it can be used as a portable crafting table, which I might as well just show you. Oh, I can't show you now because I've only got the Campus Tool. Mm -hmm. Good job, Lewis. Uh, and that has 250 durability instead of the 100 that the version 1 has. So if we just look at that crafting recipe, it's, as you can see, the campers tool, the ordinary one, in the middle, with one rose red dye above it, one rose red dye below it, and the rest is iron. And that'll get you the campers tool version too. Now, I'll just show you, if you press R, R, you might not be able to understand my accent, R, uh, then this will come up. And it's a workbench, and it works like any other workbench in Minecraft. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll show you what these are for later, but for now, let's just carry on. Uh, next, we have the small bag. Uh, it's basically like a backpack, but it has nine slots when you take it out. Uh, so that's just. Nine, eight, sorry, eight, eight canvas in a square around the middle, and that'll get you a small camping bag. Now, I'm not really sure how you use this. Right click, yeah, there we go. Right click, and I'll just put these secret items in here that you can't see. Didn't see anything. Right. So you can just do that, and yeah, put there. 
So next we have the normal camping bag. It's exactly the same but with 18 slots instead of 9. And you just put your previous camping bag, the small one, with canvas around it. And that'll get you the normal camping bag. Uh, oh God, I keep doing that. So as you 18 slots right there. That's all the camping bags do, they're just pretty much backpacks. Uh, then we have the large camping bag, that's 27 slots. I think you get the idea by now. But yeah, uh, basically, say if you've got, uh, I don't know, these items that I've got in here in your camping bag. If you want to use this camping bag, you've got to craft a new one, but you forgot to take the items out. When you craft the new normal camping bag with it, uh, it'll have your previous items in, so I think that's a pretty nifty tool that they actually thought about. As far as I can see, there's no bugs in this mod so far, and there's going to be stuff added in future, so yeah. Uh, next we'll move on to the things you need for the tents, so first we have canvas, uh, if you put your canvas tool, this is what it's used for, and six string on the middle row and bottom row, you will get, that'll make ten canvas, pieces of canvas, uh, and it will use one durability of your canvas tool, now it has a hundred or two hundred and fifty in the uh, version 2's case so it's not much of a problem uh, you can make plenty with that so that's the canvas and then temp pegs exactly the same with canvas tool but with a piece of iron that'll get you four temp pegs and um, with the temp pegs and canvas you can then make the tent which is here like so five canvas in like as you would build a helmet, or craft a helmet and then two pegs either side on it, the bottom that will make you a normal tent this is a decorative tent so it's like that one over there that you can see it has nothing inside it or you can't use it for anything uh, it's just there to be decorative uh, and now we'll move on to the campfires Right, so basically the deal with the campfires is <clears throat> they all do different things and you've got your normal tier here, ah, sorry I, I couldn't uh, find all the recipes for them, I found the ones for these three but I didn't think there was a point since I couldn't find these two. So, first you have your normal campfire, that's just a decorative one. And you can actually dye that one, but that's the only one you can dye with any colour and it'll turn different flame. Uh, then you have your multi cooking campfire. I'll show you what I'll do in a minute. Fast cooking campfire, cheap cooking campfire, and insta cooking campfire. Ooh, try saying that five times fast. And then. As our final things, we have a few pieces that haven't, as far as I know, been implemented with craft the crafting recipes, such as marshmallows, marshmallow on a stick, and a stick, radish seeds. Radish seeds have been been into, implemented. Sorry, uh, I just forgot. So. To get radish seeds you want to break normal grass like tall grass like you would to get wheat seeds and occasionally you'll get a radish seed, they're not rare though. And then we have the sleeping bag so it's pretty cool, they're the items that as far as I know don't work yet. Um, well they do work but they haven't got crafting recipes so that's it for the recipes. Uh, as you can see, I built a nice sign here. Welcome to campsite, Potso. Please enjoy your stay. Thank you.
Oh, God, sorry. Right, what should we start off with? I think we'll start off with the campfires. So this is a normal campfire and it's actually dyed pink. But I think in this version, the flame for this one, the normal one's bugged, so you can't. Well, oh god, so, sorry, my like, two keys real sticky for some reason. Let's put it like that. And, yeah, so that's bugged, and it does nothing except it can cook marshmallows, which I will show you now. Hopefully, as long as it don't bug out. So, you just right click that, and you'll get a cooked marshmallow. Don't know how much is heals, sorry, but yeah, that's that. Then we have the multi cooking campfire, also bugged. But look, it, it cooks three things at once, so that is rather cool for one piece of coal as well. So you're essentially getting three smelts for one piece of coal as opposed to a normal furnace. Fast cooking campfire, uh, it just cooks it slightly faster, that's it, very much, I think. Cheap cooking camp, oh god. Cheap cooking campfire, uh, you don't have to put any fuel in for that one, and it cooks too. So that is really handy if you like not don't have any coal or things to fuel your fire. And the final one is the Insta cooking. Now this one doesn't have any slots because you just put food on it and it cooks it instantly. You just right click it. So there the campfires. <coughs> Sorry, losing my voice. <coughs> They're rather cool uh, and handy. I'm just gonna put these in my inventory quickly. So we don't need them anymore. Get the things I do need out. Right, I think, yeah, that's it. Now, here we have radishes, and you'll notice that I haven't had to hoe the grass. Now, this is one of the pro, oh, oh god, lightning. Sorry. So, yeah, that's one of the pros of having radishes. I don't heal that much hunger, it's just one bar of hunger. But you don't need a hoe, so yeah. But they are pretty useful because you can just place them down anywhere when you want. Uh, and you'll know they're grown because you'll see the bit of red at the bottom. At any other stage of growth, you won't see that. Uh, I don't think I'll get it if I break it, no. A radish looks like this. Uh, that's a radish. Um, right now, the final thing is the tent itself. So this is the standard decorative tent. Can't do anything with it. It acts as the block, so you can like climb on it and whatever. I think yeah, it can. Uh, so this is not useful in any way. It's just for decoration. But if you, you can put a sleeping bag, which doesn't have a recipe, as far as I know. If you place that on a tent, it'll place it there, look, inside, and you can actually sleep. So if I just set time to 18,000, then I can not sleep. Of course, why? Oh, you can only sleep from one side that it's facing, so. So, I've just slept, it's daytime, yay! Now, this is where the camper's tool comes in handy. If you right click the tent with the camper's tool, you'll see it's used the durability. And I got my sleeping bag back so you can do other things with the tent. Uh, 
And the other thing you can do with tents is place a chest in there, and that will give you storage. But it will give you, I think it's 36 slots instead of uh, 27. Yeah, look at that. It's like having a double chest, but for one chest. So that is really good for the price that it costs. Store all your stuff in there. That's pretty much it for the items, guys. Um, got two more things to show you. One more thing. This is the crap camping guide. When you spawn in your world, you will actually have this on you. And yeah, it just basically tells you like the recipes and stuff. So that's cool. And it tells you what they do if you really want to read that. I, I don't think you do. I don't think anyone reads nowadays, honestly. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's all the items, guys. I'm trying to think. Oh, that's it. Right, we'll move on to the armour in just a few seconds. Do I not look beautiful to you? TELL ME I'M BEAUTIFUL! Uh, <laughs> so, this is the camper's armour. I'm gonna come out of creative so I can actually show you its full effects. Because it does have quite a few pros. So, you see there on my armour bar, it's six and a half, which isn't bad. You can't I don't think it has a I don't think it has a recipe as far as I know. But they will be into implementing that in the future, hopefully. Uh, so I'm gonna show you out some of the special abilities. So we have the helmet which I don't think it does anything, if I'm being honest with you. Or maybe it does. I don't know, honestly. Oh, yes. It helps you swim underwater. That's what the helmet does. The next thing is the chest plate. Now, that, um, as far as I know, gives you, like, projectile protection. So you're safe from arrows and things. But don't quote me on that one. Okay, okay, dude. Dude, we can work this out. I made one wrong quote. I said don't quote me on it. I can't take projectiles. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, we can work this out. So, uh, yeah, don't quote me on that one. Because uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, moving on to the trousers. Campers leggings, so uh, the trousers help you run faster, as far as I know. So, as you can see, I'm going like super nyan mode there. Uh, yeah, that's all that the trousers do. And finally, the boots they like you usually have to jump up to get up a block in Minecraft, whereas if you're wearing these boots you can just step up a one block so you don't have to jump like this. Oh no! That was not good. Ah, um, em embarrassing. So, uh, slight fault on my part there. Whoops! I've completely forgot what I was saying to you. Oh, yeah. Stepping up a block. So that's that for the boots. And also, you can go Superman mode. And you can jump massive gaps because you have a two block jump height with these boots as well. So I can. I. Whoa, that was laggy. Why is it laggy? Why is it lagging? 
So, see there, I just jumped over the fence. Oh my god, why is it like Nothing happened. But yeah, Superman. Uh, that's that. Whoa, it's because I'm so fast I can't stop myself like that. I found a hero and I found my old armor. But as you can see, it's uh, quite easy to park all around so. I could just get up this hill really easy back up to my base. Watch, you ready? I'll be up there in about 10 seconds. Count me down. 10, 9, 8, 7. Oh, I'm here. Let's try it from a harder place. Uh, let's say that. Right, so. Yeah, really easy to park on. Um, um, uh, <sighs> here, yes, um, god damn it. So, uh, yeah, really easy to fuck off. What do you mean it took me ages? No, I got up there easy. <sighs> Camping mod, everybody. Uh, the final thing that I would like to show you is a mob that they've added in. So if I just go to there, no, not there. Miscellaneous, and you didn't see that. Hopefully, da, da, da. we have the camper, yay! Like cod noobs, dude, just get off, dude. dude I will kill you. I am Superman. Thank you. That's when I thought. Oh! Um. <laughs> yeah, campers. That's a female. That's a male. It's two different kinds, and you can just find random campsites just like this one here that I've built. Also, but like a bit better with these guys in. And they trade. No, they don't. They should trade. Okay. They trade in the newest version, but I am outdated. That's the only thing they've changed. So, I think, get out of here, you camper noob. Go! Born on it! Uh, oh, there we go. Right, so, yeah guys, that's pretty much all this mod has to offer at the moment. Uh, I'd advise you to go check it out, it's a nice little mod to just add into Minecraft to give it that bit of flamboyance. Check me out with words. So yeah, it's just a nice little mod, it's well coded. Really well coded. There's no bugs as far as I can see. Tell me if you know of any bugs in the comment section. Uh, also, let me know if you've had any problems with this mod, downloading issues or crafting or anything like that, and I will try to solve them for you. But for now, it is goodbye from me, so I will see you later, guys. Bye.